All right, we're going to show you how to do the Brown Forsyth test for equality of means. It's kind of like the ANOVA. It looks for significant differences between group means. So our IV is company department. And we have how many levels here? I think there's five. Yeah, there's five levels. Custodial, maintenance, shipping, finance, management. And the DV is the number of sick days. And it's a continuous variable. Let's make sure it is a continuous variable. It sure is. Okay. So we're good to go. What we're going to do is go to Analyze. Compare Means. One-Way ANOVA. So the dependent variable is sick days. And our grouping variable is the factor, categorical variable. Put that in there. And quick and easy, we just go to Options. And we want the Brown Forsyth test. So be careful, there is another Brown Forsyth test where it checks the homogeneity of variance. That's not this one. This one is running it like an ANOVA. Okay, this is checking the means. So, and what it does, the difference between the Brown Forsyth and the ANOVA is that the way they calculate your final F ratio, they somehow adjust the denominator. So they don't use the mean squares of the error term they they adjust it somehow and we're not going to go through that in this video because it'll take forever okay but then we just click that click that boom so we got two separate outputs let me make them so you can see them here so the first one is a regular ANOVA and it's got a significance value of 0.90 which means there was no significant difference in the number of sick days based on the five different departments right it was could have been closer if the sample size was bigger, but with the data we have, was not significant. So here's the Brown Forsyth test down here, and it agrees with the ANOVA, right? It was not significant as well. All right, so I hope this helped. MGZ, out.